Hi, this is Steve, and I'm going to give an overview of the presets that have returned in version 4 of Nutcracker. I was a heavy user of uh, the, the preset effects in Nutcracker 3, and after talking to Gil for a while, um, he was able to get it back in, and I'm very thankful that we have presets. Presets are a way to save an effect that you have fine-tuned and easily recall that effect whether it be a single layer effect or a multi-layer effect and it just makes for a quick way of reproducing effects that you've really spent some time on to uh, aid in the speed of your sequencing. So to get to presets you highlight a timing grid right click and you get the effect presets option. When you come here you will get this effects presets window and the reason why I have these presets in here because I used Nutcracker 3 when it had presets and I have reused my same configuration file between Nutcracker 3 and Nutcracker 4. What you can see are effects that I've named and I try and name them something uh, meaningful so that I will know what it means versus good one or great one red I name them uh, typically with the effect that I've used so we'll look at this first one called green blob rings all you have to do is hit apply preset or double click it and it will put the effect in your sequence now right now the effect default is three seconds long that may change it may fit to the the grid later on but for now that's what it is and if we take a look at this model of exactly what does green blob rings mean we play the effect it's a butterfly effect that with the option set it looks like green blob rings that's what I called it we can delete that and I'll get to some other basic ones green red center bars so if we apply this boring um, Something to note on the version 4 effects if you had them in version 3, not all the sliders work. So a saved effect may not have movement like this one because in bars we have a new option for um, number of cycles. So if I come in here and edit this effect and see what its issue is, the cycles is set to 0. So if I bring this up to 1, now they match. And what I can do is just click Update Preset, and now when I recall that effect again, I'll have movement on both of those, uh, those effects. So let's delete that. Let's recall it. To, it was, uh, let me find it here. I can't find it. Oh, when you update an effect, it puts it at the bottom of your list. That's why I didn't immediately find it there. So green, red center bars. And that wasn't very good. I messed it up because I only had one, one layer selected, which is fine. That was an easy effect to recall. I'm going to go ahead and delete that effect. Some of the other effects that I've done that really have taken some time to do, I have in this awesome category, and you probably have never seen these before. One of them are my chunks, where I took two spirals and combined them and got the layering just right, so that you have something like this. That's simple, two spirals, setting the second one as a mask. Let's show you another one. I have a red and white diamond chunk spin. Here's what that looks like. And another favorite one of mine is the one that labeled tiger, red and green tiger. And I don't have movement on this one because I haven't edited yet. Let's set some movement on one of these spiral layers. So I come in here to my effect settings and just put a little bit of movement. If I highlight both of these and I say update preset, then I'll be good to go. So let's delete this. 
recall the red and green tiger. And it works as expected. So that's the recalling of the effects. What if you've come up with something great in Nutcracker 4 and you want to save it? Well, let's go ahead and look at that. In this sequence here I'm working on right now, I've created these uh, layers in my model. Let me just show you what that looks like. And that's just morphs. I have uh, five or six layers of morphs there. So let's go ahead and highlight those layers. I'm going to go to Effect Presets. I have a group selected, so we'll use my awesome group. Call it a Noops Preset, and let's just call this Swipes 6. Okay. That simple. Should be able to come to a free section here. Presets. Find in my awesome group Swipe 6. Double click it, and there it is. I don't need to recreate those morphs again, nor do I need to recall them. The great thing about this, your effects presets are universal amongst all your sequences. I could copy this and then close the sequence, go to another sequence, and paste it in and go back and forth, or have two copies of Nutcracker running at the same time. With effect presets, you don't need to do that. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. One item to note, when you first start Nutcracker without any presets, you're going to have these two groups, favorites and a user group. The user group is a carryover from three. It's just there. You can't do anything with it. You may get an error that you cannot uh, apply an, eff an effect to the favorites group. So let's see if I can do that. I have the favorite group selected. I'm going to highlight these effects and say a new preset called test. And it did it, which is fine. Put in the test. What you can do then is you can drag these effects around into groups you want. If I put test into the awesome group, uh, there it is. One more sample of straight edge. I have um, effects with straight edges. Phaser down rainbow. Let's take a look at that. Simple enough. That's all there really is to it. New ones, the, the buttons are self-explanatory with a new feature in version 4 of import. If somebody had an effects pack, let's say, or somebody was selling one or wanted to share with you, you can click import and then um, open their RGB effects file and import those effects. The effects are stored in your RG, it's the name of the file is xlights underscore RGB effects dot XML where the rest of your settings are saved and you should be backing that up every day when you sequence using the F10 key. That's it. Thank you for watching and you could find me online if you need any other help.